I'm back. Well, oh my god. Wonder what's in the box. Well, here it is. This big fat box that's come all the way from, uh, well, basically the other side of the world where they're made. The USA. Oh. What can I say about that? Well, what I can say is that uh, often you can buy parts, uh, really, on the internet from brand new guitars. And you can assemble them over a, a short while, while you wait for the re next, next part, so to speak. And you can end up with a guitar that actually costs you quite a lot less, really, in reality, than uh, just going buying one off the shelf, particularly in the UK. But... It could be like that in the USA too. It's all relative. Remember, to get this to England, I have to pay more than I actually buy it for. I uh, recommend that people do take a look at this sort of thing. And, you know, consider whether going to that dealer and spending something like, uh, well, an assembled one of these can cost 22 or 2300 pounds in the UK. Or you buy a dissembled one like this, and we'll come to the price of this body later in the video, because that's what it is. It's a guitar body. But it's not any old guitar body. Some people might tell you that it is. So what I'm going to do is uh, whip it out of here. Well, let's start. Yeah, well, when you get this, you actually get the certificate of authenticity with it. Yeah, this one's a... Uh, Pretty interesting. It's uh, the Certificate of Authenticity on the screen right now. And it's uh, serial number US 23116501. Who cares? I don't care what it says on there because that actually isn't on the body anywhere. It's just a piece of paper that, frankly, is probably meaningless. So let's get this darn thing out. This is exactly how it comes. Oh my God. Well, here it is. Well, you might tell me it's nothing special. You like that out there. But in reality, it's a little bit more special than your average Strat. And it might be a little bit more special than your average Mexican Strat. Oh my God, where's the neck? Well, that's part of the, the little secret of what you do. Let's cover that first, and then uh, we can take a look at the uh, the body. So you can get your own. <laughs> well, there is a guy on... Uh, he's on Fleabay, or eBay, or call it what you will. He used to be on uh, the Stratosphere, or stratospheparts.com. But all that seems to have vanished, and I think he's just on eBay now. Yeah, which, uh, if you look for a body like this that's brand new, you'll probably find him. And once you've found... Well, I'll, I'll try and put a link down below. How's that sound? Yeah, <laughs> sounds like a plan. But what they do is... Uh, I think it's quite unique, actually. They sort of start to uh, buy brand new guitars and pull them apart and sell the bits. Well, this particular one uh, is sold as you see it. Absolutely brand new. It literally is brand new, never been played. And uh, the only thing missing, if you want the truth, is the neck. Now, I do have one of these particular necks already in my collection. And I could swap it out off another guitar and put it on this one. Because this one's a particular model, if you will. But I don't think I'm going to do that. More about that later. So, is this some Mexican hash-up? No. Is this some American... Fender, yes it is. And I, I've got it on screen here. In America, they fetch $2,149. And you can bet your life that in the UK, it's at least £2,200. Because that's how Fender and the rest of them work. It's always more expensive here than it is there where you are. Maybe if you're in the States. Yeah, so what's special about a Jeff Beck? Well, here's the preamble from Fender. From blistering British invasion beginnings through a long and acclaimed solo career of remarkable stylistic versatility. Yes, this is a Jeff Beck Strat 
body. Jeff Beck has been taken... He's taken the Stratocaster to unbelievable sonic heights, one of the most distinctive musical voices uh, ever coaxed from the instrument. I, I think that's true. Jeff Beck was, sadly, R.I.P. Jeff, uh, a, a genius at what he did. Have a go at try and play it sometime. I don't think anybody plays the same as Jeff Beck did. Anyway, it continues with classic style and special features. They make this sound and style your own with the Jeff Beck Stratocaster, which ranks among Fender's most popular and long-standing artist instruments. You know, they make a series of guitars for artists. Some of those series include uh, Jimi Hendrix. They include, uh, well, who do they include? <laughs> so many people, so many people. Rory Gallagher is another one. But it isn't just strats either. They, they have telecasters. Jimmy Page got a telecaster. And so on and so forth. Malmsteen. We could, if you think for a few minutes, you could list this long how many there are. In fact, hey, guess what? Why don't you go down below and make a list of all the Fender guitars that are signature guitars that you can think of? That would be worth the effort and everybody add to it, you know. Why not? You're doing nothing else. <laughs> so it comes to this body. And I think what we are going to do is we're going to zoom in and have a look. And I'm going to take the pit guard off and stuff like that. And give you a good idea of actually what this Jeff Beck body is like. Because this is a Jeff Beck guitar. And, you know, if you went and bought one, or you don't even know that they make one. Well, now you can have a close up of uh, what's re what it's really like with this guitar body. I mean, I love, personally, they make a, a sort of seafoam green, and they do make this Olympic white one, and I, I love the Olympic white stuff. I hate to say it, but it always reminds me of Hendrix. Well, I don't really hate to say it. But I like Olympic white, and that's why I bought this one. So, uh, let's go a bit closer, and then we can uh, have a look at some of the features, and we'll whip this cover off and talk about the pickups and see what else we find in there of uh, maybe where the real origin is. It probably is American, but oh, I like to look, don't you? <laughs> Here's the body as uh, exactly as I received it, actually. And you can see that it's, uh, well, it's basically totally pristine. Let's turn that over. You can see both sides. It's absolutely pristine. It comes with the, uh, the neck thingy. <laughs> the neck plate and all the other bits and it does actually come it does actually come with its uh, whammy bar get over there so this is what you get this is how it comes to you I oh, put a few bits of elastic band around there to keep that bit in place which is all very nice yeah I mean you can't get enough of a Olympic strat, can you? Olympic white. It's pretty awesome. But looking at it overall, you can see that, even here, that it is actually totally brand new. It's never been used at all. And, you know, by the time I've paid the shipping and the rest, of course it does get a little bit expensive here in the UK, as I've said. But that's, uh, well, that's life, isn't it? What you end up with is basically a cost uh, that is commensurate with the body, but you only need to buy the body. And for the UK, this is cheap. For America, as I said, it probably isn't. So what I want to do is just uh, give you a few bits of the spec, first of all. Let's have a look at that. Well, the body itself, it's an older body. Whether it's a one-piece or a two-piece, it's might be two piece or well we'll see if we can see more when we get this top off but it proudly says here Jeff Beck Stratocaster 1109600 and it rambles on about different stuff down there yeah all well and good but he is an older body uh, it's got basically Fender special design dual coil ceramic noiseless pickups and these aren't the ordinary ones I'm I'm reliably informed oh look <laughs> see about that in a bit yeah these are ones that were modified apparently 
uh, not just regular uh, versions of these noises. They, they're modified for Jeff Beck at the time, they say. Now, if we did have the, uh, the neck, which we don't have here, it would be a, a soft C-neck uh, profile uh, with a contoured heel, which we'll see in a minute. It would have been uh, an LSR roller nut at the top end of the neck. I do know that because I've got one of the necks. And uh, it's got a two-point synchronised trem as opposed to the older-fashioned one. And it, it also, it's got stainless steel saddles, just in case you didn't know. Yeah, they were really the sort of highlights of the, the body itself. But I can tell you that the neck, which isn't uh, covered in this particular video, but it will be somewhere else later. Uh, the neck itself is probably, in my experience, and I've had a lot of practice with necks, probably one of the best fender necks uh, that I've got from any, any uh, version or model. Uh, yeah, I would say that probably is the best fender neck. And it's one reason why the necks do tend to cost a bit of money. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, there's a date. It says December the 1st. And it looks like 2023. Well, does it say on that certificate? Of course not. <laughs> That's how useless the certificate is, I guess. Get over there. So let's uh, unscrew this and uh, go a bit further. Okay, well, I've got the screws out. And if you notice, it's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Screw. Pick odd. Yeah. What can I say? Now then. Okay, well, here we are with the... Uh, scratch plate well and truly removed let's get all these bits off I hate the dirty bits don't you <laughs> well you, you don't oh well I don't like relics personally but there you go now you can see that this body has been uh, hacked out so you could put uh, humbuckers in there on a different uh, pit guard if you wanted to well if you wanted to I don't want to I notice you've got a number here, uh, 231230. Let's have a look if that's on that. Uh... No, it isn't on this again, so that's meaningless. It's probably, uh... <laughs> it's probably a body part number or something. Who knows? But you've got this other one over here. Uh, yeah, it's the 1st of the 9th, 23. So that's probably when the body was made because... It's stamped at the top here in uh, December the 1st, 2023. Yeah, which is a bit weird. But, okay, it's, uh, it's basically, it's an older body. I can't tell you if it's how many pieces it comprises of, because, well, frankly, it's all painted, and uh, I can't see it through here. And then everywhere else has been painted, so rather difficult to do that. It could be a two-piece, it could even be a three-piece. It is a fender body. See what you like about that. I like it. I think it's finished uh, very, very well. And there's not much more you can really say about that. Yeah, so I, I do really want to start off with those pickups because they're not quite as simple as what you might think. Some people will tell you that they are and some people will tell you that they're not. The simple fender comment is the, the Jeff Peck uh, Stratocaster's Three hot, noiseless pickups combine warmth and punch with cutting, bluesy, articulating, uh, articulation, say that fast, with a screaming high-gain bridge pickup and with Fender's noiseless design, the clean, full sound is free of hum. And I, I can confirm that it definitely is free of hum on these type of pickups. These uh, were an earlier version than the Mark IVs or the Mark Vs that are kicking around. I think these were, uh, not these exact ones, but the, the typical design was a, a version 3, if I remember right, on these. But these have been, uh, well, enhanced a little bit. They say, you know, out on there on the uh, tinternet, as some people say in England, 
Uh, yeah, so the, the, they've got a bit more power than they might otherwise have, they say. We'll find that when the guitar's built later on, but it won't be in this video because I'm still waiting for the neck and I don't want to butcher one of the ones that I've already got. I think that's, uh, that's reasonable. <laughs> Let's look a bit further down here. Yeah, as you might expect, it's one of those Fender five-way switches. There's its part number on the side, from what I think. What I see, typical fender wiring for, uh, off that, and uh, yeah, it's sort of plasticky wire, so it's more modern than you might think uh, it would be. You know, bearing in mind that you know, really, the, the Jeff Beck strats of this world were old guitars. I think 60s could have been earlier, but yeah, they always come across to me as like a 60s guitar. Well, clearly, that's not a 60s inside the body. And, uh, yeah, well, that's not a 60s, because that's a five-way. And then you've got the, the pots themselves. Let's have a look at them. Now, these pots are exactly, <laughs> really exactly what you'd expect them to be. I mean, the CTS pots, that's the first thing. So CTS is still around in the world. Good. I like the CTS pots compared to the some of the real horrible, cheap, and very nasty Chinese pots that have taken over everywhere and I think there's been a switch to other brands uh, away from CTS because of the cost of the CTS ones that's just a personal view of course but you always seem to see CTS in the the better stuff don't you yeah very interesting hey that's interesting too you see that sort of cutaway there I wonder what that's for anybody who's got uh, the slightest bit of information about that could uh, Spout it up below the video and uh, tell me what that cutout's for there on the uh, screening. I've never seen that before, but there again, I haven't been inside one of these. Yeah, so back to the CTS pots. Uh, these are, uh, yeah, 250k and it says 2219. So it, it's year 22, uh, isn't it? Week 19. Yes, it is. That's what I would say. I could be wrong. And the second one is... I can't read. <laughs> and the uh, third one, I can't read. But that's what it is on this one. And these are Alpha Pots Type A. Well, that one is. That one is. And that one is. So, now you know. That's what Fender fits. Just in case you didn't know. Uh, I didn't know what it'd be behind here. And there is a... Little capacitor, but I'll leave you to figure that one out yourself. Now, I always find this funny on uh, Fender Strats, and I, I noticed this some years ago when I, when I bought a, uh, oh, a Strat in 2013, I think it was. And I, I think I mentioned it on the video at the time, but I'm going to show you on this one anyway, because it's basically the same. It's, it's a bit of a weird thing. Take a good look down there. You see there? Look, there's a hole. <laughs> Can you see that? For some obscure reason, Fender have this hole. Now, I don't think it's on every Strat out there. But that's a very common sort of thing that I've seen uh, quite a lot of times down there. Right there. Yeah, what's the fix? Oh, I don't know what the fix is. Maybe they should machine it a bit less for certain models, but... It seems to me that they don't they seem to have a sort of standardised body uh, that probably fits everything, I guess. So that's uh, that's one I just wanted to show you. Yeah, while we're around the front. Okay, well there it is, back together, and the uh, the sort of pickup floating around was just a screw that was loose. Maybe they'd uh, adjusted it off for some reason. I don't really know why. But there you go. So there's the the hole we were speaking about. You can even see it. Uh, no problem from above, or if you're facing the audience. This has still got its uh, got its plastic on, which I could peel off. You see that? But I don't think I will for now. I'll just leave that as it is. Let's turn it over and have a look at the back. It's a typical Fender Strat back. I love the uh, the cutout. It's quite a deep cutout. Let's have a look at it. See that? Maybe you can. Yeah. Or maybe you can't. But. In either case, there it is. It's uh, It's got a, a sort of uh, cutaway uh, neck plate. Uh, 
and I've got I've got one that's going to replace that actually. Yes, there it is. It's a it's a it's a Fender fiftieth anniversary uh, neck plate, and my guess it is a guess. Yeah, it looks like it's going to fit that perfect, doesn't it? Let's have a look. That's as close as I can get, but you get the idea. Yeah, I think it'll look good. Well, the fact that it's gold, oh, I'm stuck with that. That's that's the colour that it was on the one that I could get my hands on at the time. It's all nice though, isn't it? And, uh, you know, set the, the guitar off a little bit different than what it may have otherwise been, which is a standard run-of-the-mill Fender USA backplate, neckplate, should I say. Yeah, C E U K C A. <laughs> WEE, and it's even got a sort of Rosh compliance on there somehow. So for completeness, I think uh, what we'll do is just whip that off and have a look what's going on underneath that. Yeah, why not? Well, there are the screws off it, so uh, let's uh, see what's underneath. Oh yeah, it's never been off. <laughs> it's still got its protective on the back. And typically, we've got here exactly what you'd expect. Notice that it's got a sort of modern block on it, uh, which is a sort of cut away a little bit at one side. I, I think I can't really see much in there, but uh, let's see if I can. Yeah, the tremolo blocks are uh, one of those cut away modern ones. Well, you get what you get, I suppose, and uh, we could switch that out at some stage if we want. I think I've got one somewhere. Yeah, I might just do that and move that to a bit of a heavier type of tremolo block. You've got three springs on this one, and it's grounded in the usual place. Nothing special really in there, absolutely nothing. What I can see, have a look. yes, what I can see, just about there, it's offset a little bit, the back of this here. I can see, let's see if I can pull it around so you can see it. If you look uh, roughly where the pointer is, you can see that this is a two-piece body. It's joined just off centre, not there, about, uh, about there, all the way along the body. Yeah, that's what I see. It's only two pieces, it doesn't look like a three piece unless the other piece is way down here somewhere. And who knows about that? Well, you're never really going to find out unless you strip the whole thing down. And something I'm not going to do. By the way, while we're here, the finish on this, it's a urethane finish and some people will balk at that. They like that, but uh, it's a very resilient finish as uh, urethane. This is what Fender says about it. Urethane guitar body finishes are especially strong and durable, and they will hold colours with great vividness. No vivid. <laughs> its sheen and clarity has extraordinary long periods. Yeah, you know sheen and clarity. Yeah. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's not for you. Uh, the uh, the fact is that, uh, yeah, it's a very, very resilient finish, is this. Yeah, it's no different than the, the sort of finish that Hendrix actually had. Or maybe uh, Jeff Beck in his earlier days. Yeah, them old strats that he had. Yeah, that's an interesting point, isn't it? On that tremolo unit down there, I mean, let's not kid ourselves, it's an everyday trem. Really, and what they say again, what they say, not what I say, uh, it's superior intonation, sustain, and tremolo action, and ease of adjustment. The Jeff Beck Stratocaster features a two point tremolo bridge with modern stainless steel block saddles. So, there, that's what it's telling you. See anything else it tells you in here? It's got specs there. Let's have a look at them. Yeah, gloss urethane, older bodywood, which we've covered. Body shape Stratocaster. Doesn't say which year. <laughs> yeah, interestingly, it doesn't. Uh, yeah. Neck material, it says maple, satin urethane, but it's actually maple with a rosewood top on a on a Jeff Beck. Can't mistake them. LSR roller nut, 42.86 mil on the neck when we get it. And it's got a biflex, biflex truss rod. On the uh, the electronics, hot noiseless. We've talked about that. Master volumes, usual rubbish for everything down there. 
Uh, but it could be configured differently if you wanted to take... There'd be no point in doing that because then it wouldn't be a Jeff Beck body, would it? Well, no, it wouldn't. <laughs> and on the Fender front, that's all I can glean out of it, except that in America it's 2,149.99 yeah, cents. So if I look at England, yeah, Andertons, they're as greedy as anybody, aren't they? So let's, uh, yeah, there it is, 2,099 discounted. <laughs> so it's 2,100. And the list price in England, it says, I think they're liars if you want the truth. All this Fender debacle all about prices and dealers. Mm. Yeah, they say it's £2,299 in England. So, uh, yeah, I wonder how they lose that 10 or 15%. Yeah, I can guess. Yeah, in stock, view all images, tells you very little about it, other than what you've already heard. Now then, there are a fair number of questions that you could ask yourself about buying one of these. You know, I could have gone and bought a body, maybe some relatively cheap pickups, the trem, all the other niceties that are on this guitar, and put this together, well, for probably less than the... Uh, I think this was about an equivalent. I think it was uh, $670 or something like that. Or oh, 670 pounds by the time, uh, yeah, it was shipping and the rest. But these guys, they charged me $80 for shipping, which I thought was actually for the UK pretty good. And I received it in literally days, about three or four days. I was quite surprised about that because often Warmoth will take a bit longer and charge 100 and, ugh, 130 or 140 something odd dollars. I guess they are further away, but are they? I don't even know where these guys are. Well, I can tell you the Fender noiseless pickups in the UK are £259 list price. Now, you might get them a bit cheaper somewhere, if they've got them or not. But let me uh, have a look at what the USA price is. Yeah, so remember, £259 in the UK. And in the USA, they are uh, $209, which is... About £180. Yeah, somebody's doing something somewhere. And don't tell me that costs a fortune to ship. Oh, my God. You know, they always look at the UK as an easy touch. I, I, I've always felt this. It, UK's the easy touch. That's why I can buy this body in America and ship it to England and have it in England cheaper than I can buy it in England. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Fender, wakey-wakey. I have found a little section in the Fender... Uh, the Fender website, on the US side of things, not necessarily where I am. Polysol coated magnet wire, ceramic magnets deliver scorching output, good. Flush mount pole pieces for even string, if you noticed that before, you might not have. Vinyl coated output wire and plastic bobbin. I don't know what's good about that. <laughs> there you go, it's plastic. It's just a piece of plastic. I think that's what he said in the film. Uh, installation hardware included. Well, yeah, two screws. Well, what can I say? But it is cheaper in America. There's no getting away from that. And there's not much more else I can say. They're expensive in England. But these questions still remain. Why would you buy that? Why on earth would you buy one of these? Well, the reason I bought it is, uh, well... It's a genuine product. That's the first thing about it. You've got to hold some credibility or credence to that, haven't you? Now, I'm not talking the likes of Warmoth and people like that. Their gear's actually quite expensive and uh, it does hold a price. It does, depending on how good you are at building. In any case, for me, I wanted one of these so there. I've had the Jeff Beck neck. I've got two or three of them, if you want the truth. And when I bought that neck... Uh, it's probably a few years back. In fact, from the same company, this the Stratosphere, or Stratosphere Parts, or whatever he's called these days. Yeah, there he is. On, he's on eBay. I, I'm not sure you can look anywhere else anymore. I think his websites have been and gone, probably due to cost. Uh, so there he is on eBay, and uh, yeah, you can buy almost anything. I'm currently waiting for a neck to appear. 
When it does, I'll probably buy it. But he has got four Jeff Beck necks on there right now. Well, Tony, <laughs> why aren't you just jumping on there and buying them? Well, it's all very simple. They're custom shop necks. And the custom shop necks are, to me, about $1,100. I don't think so. I could get the standard neck for about uh, 600 or somewhere like that. Now, if you, if you equate this being the standard neck, let's imagine this. We fit the standard neck on here. Well, that's six hundred dollars. Well, this is about probably six hundred pound landing, and this was about seven hundred pounds. So that makes it about thirteen hundred pounds. I might have to add a, add a case if I haven't already got one, but thankfully I have. Who knows? I might buy another. <laughs> but let's imagine it being uh, thirteen hundred pounds for a brand new Jeff Beck uh, Stratocaster. Yeah, the. £2,100 anywhere, right? Even the second-hand ones are fetching about £1,800. Don't know what they are in the States. Probably about $1,800 or somewhere there. Uh, so my methodology is that this is a good way of thinking. You know, the Stratosphere boys, or Stratosphere parts, whatever he calls himself. Uh, yeah, they're doing, they're doing a good job. By the way... This video isn't sponsored whatsoever. Everything that I've shown you, I've bought. So it's a real sort of close-up. I wanted to just show people, I don't know. It's just a, a, a signature body off a Jeff Beck Strat, but definitely worth taking a quick look at. I think it looks, uh, it looks nice. It's built nice enough. I don't really see many problems with it. It's not to the standard of where the 62 one was with the different, yeah, and all the rest of it, but that doesn't bother me. I wanted to just show you this, uh, what it is, and what will I give it as a score? Well, yeah, what would I give it? Actually, I'd be giving this one uh, probably, oh, let's look. No, it's a 10 out of 10. You've got to bear in mind the price I paid and what I've got. There's just one problem with it, <laughs> which nobody's probably noticed, because I didn't when I was buying it. And I'm going to let you into the secret, because I did go back to Stratosphere Parts and say, hey, you know, you're telling me this is ready to play. All I've got to do is put a neck on and away it goes, which is how they sold it. But I'm going to let you into the secret. Now, to tell you the truth, I should make it a 9 out of 10. Well, why? Because I've got to go and buy something. That is crazy. They've screwed off. You'll see on the screen. They've screwed off the strap locks. <laughs> I think this one does come with strap locks. And I, my guess is that's why they've screwed them off. So there's none on there. And uh, yeah, there should be. And I think if you're buying a brand new body in the case of this, where it's got everything, and some character screwed off the... <laughs> The strap box. That's not worth 10 out of 10, boys. Wakey, wakey. 9 out of 10 it is. That's where it's staying. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> now, hey, listen. If you want to go and see uh, other reviews, have a whiz across to my website because I've got loads of different stuff on there. Uh, of guitars that are reviewed. And uh, they're also on my YouTube channel, of course. Uh, where you could also go, and uh, there's lots and lots, 400 and something odd, 450 reviews, I think, or something ridiculous uh, like that, where they all go into a bit of depth, some more than others. Uh, but if you want to know a bit more about the electronic side of things, there's loads of Marshall amps on there, there's diesel amps on there, there's, well, there's all sorts of brands of amps, there's uh, Bogner, EVH, Laney, you name it, they're all on there. So lots and lots of stuff to go to look at with that. Uh, don't forget to do that subscription, will you? Because it does matter. Do the subscribe. Do the thumbs up thing. That matters too, so they tell me. And uh, ring that bell. Ding, ding. <laughs> and choose all that lets you get my maybe one or two reviews a month. Uh, so you can come and have a look at them. This review here was a little bit out of the ordinary but I did want to show people 
about that company where you can go and buy the stuff. You might already know about them, but my guess is a lot of people don't. Because they don't advertise unless you actually find one, and then it's, oh, it's him, if you get me. Uh, I'll try and put links down below for all of that stuff. And, uh, yeah, there you have it. So until next time, that was the uh, Jeff Beck Stratocaster in Olympic white. And I'll be either swapping the neck off one that I've already got, or I'll be getting hold of a neck. I might even buy the custom one if I'm mad. Who knows? We shall see. Now get out of here.